dear students once again welcome back to your favorite technical channel avm tech android today i am available with the fifth video lecture related to internal combustion engine performance and emission the channel name is avm tech android and this is a qr code of channel either you can scan this qr code or you can just write avm tech android on the youtube and you can take a benefit of free video lectures available on this channel so today we are going to discuss about numerical that is of second part related to internal combustion engine in the previous video for which the link is available in the description box we had discussed some type of numerical related to internal combustion engine performance continuation we are going with the part 2 that is numerical related to ic engine performance part 2 so so let us start with the numerical so now the numerical which you can see they are somewhat complicated and these numericals are important for your internal test as well as for your university examination this kind of numerical may be asked in the competitive examination like gate or upsc or in which ies is there or any exam of company you can see here the data a single cylinder and a stroke cycle ic engine when tested the following observations are available so here whether it is a two stroke engine or four stroke engine that is not mentioned whether it is a petrol engine or diesel engine that is also not mentioned but definitely it is a single cylinder engine it is mentioned so now what is given in the data let us see area of indicator diagram is the, uh, given 3 square centimeter length of the indicator diagram is given 4 centimeter spring constant is given 10 bar per centimeter uh, engine speed is given 400 rpm brake drum diameter is given 120 centimeter dead weight on the brake that is 380 newton spring balance reading is 50 newton fuel consumption is 2.8 kg per hour calorific value of the fuel is given 42000 kJ per kg cylinder diameter is given 16 cm piston stroke or stroke length is given 20 cm we have to find out friction power mechanical efficiency brake specific fuel consumption and brake thermal efficiency so this four parameter we have to find out for which this data is available so again uh, we start to solve this numerical like what we did in the previous case so friend here you find the solution first we have to find out indicated mean effective pressure that is pmi that is equals to area of indicator diagram divided by length of indicator diagram into spring constant so that is a area l that is the length of indicator diagram and k that is a spring constant so the, it is given 3 by 4 into 10 so this indicated mean effective pressure that is 7.5 bar so upon calculation we will get this answer now what we have to do we have to find out what is indicated power ip so this ip that is pmi into l into a into n into number of cylinder that is c c is one here because it is a single cylinder engine divided by 60 <coughs> so what you can see 7.5 into 10 power 5 so we are converting bar into newton per meter square length is given length of indicator diagram bore diameter is given speed is given in terms of rps rpm 400 rpm divided by 60 into 2 so our answer is 10.05 kilowatt so indicated power is available when the mean indicated pressure is available now brake power that we have to calculate that is 2 pi nt by 60 so 2 pi n that is tight side minus slack side into b by 2 by 60 so all the data is available 
so from that we can calculate what is the value of brake power that is 8.294 watt so friend now we have to calculate friction power so friction power is nothing but the difference between indicated power and brake power so indicated power is available by uh, finding out what is the indicated mean effective pressure and brake power that is 2 pi into by 60000 so tight side and slack side readings are available in the data based on that we can calculate what is the friction power that is 1.756 kilowatt what is mechanical efficiency that is ratio of brake power to indicated power we are multiplying that with 100 so our answer is available in terms of percentage that is 82.53% now we have to find out what is the brake specific fuel consumption so how we are defining brake specific fuel consumption that is amount of fuel consumed in kilogram per hour to produce unit power so this is the mass consumption in terms of kilogram per hour divided by brake power so our answer is 0.3376 that is bsfc now what is brake thermal efficiency so eta thb is a ratio of brake power divided by mass of fuel into calorific value so this is the mass of fuel in terms of kilogram per hour this is the calorific value and this is brake power so we are dividing 2.8 by 3600 so our answer is available in terms of kilogram per kg per second <coughs> so finally here the unit is kilowatt in the numerator as well as in denominator same unit will be there so the final answer is 25.39 percentage so all the required answer that is friction power mechanical efficiency brake specific fuel consumption and brake thermal efficiency are available so now similar kind of numerical you can see here uh, for which the data is given a two stroke diesel engine was motored when meter reading was 1.5 kilowatt then the test on the engine was carried out for 1 hour and the following observations were recorded brake torque is 120 newton meter speed is 600 rpm fuel used is 2.5 kg calorific value of the fuel that is 40.3 mega joule per kilogram cooling water used is 818 kg rise in the temperature of cooling water is 10 degree exhaust gas temperature is 345 room temperature is 25 air fuel ratio is 32.1 uh, and what we have to find out is brake power indicated power mechanical efficiency and eta thi that is indicated thermal efficiency so this four thing we have to find out and for which the data is given here so now it is given to stroke diesel engine Uh, then some values are given uh, when uh, it was motored when the meter reading was 1.5 kilowatt then brake torque is given speed is given fuel used is given calorific value is given cooling water used that is given rise in the temperature is given so almost all the data are available we have to find out this four thing so let us start to find out what is the answers okay so now in the solution first we have to find out the brake power so what we have to do is the formula is 2 pi nt by 1000 where n is in terms of rps revolution per second but in the data the n is given in terms of revolution per minute so we are dividing it by 60 so rpm is converted into rps so you can see 2 pi value n is 600 torque that is 120 newton meter divided by 1000 so what is converted into kilowatt so our answer is 7.54 kilowatt now indicated power that is equals to brake power plus friction power so in the data it is given the what we call uh, brake power is 7.54 kilowatt and friction power is 1.5 kilowatt so the indicated power is 9 power 4 kilowatt 
Now what is mechanical efficiency? It is ratio of brake power to the indicated power. So it is 0.83. We are multiplying that with 100. So it is 83.4 percent. Now what is indicated thermal efficiency? That is IP divided by MF into CV. So IP that is indicated power divided by mass of fuel consumed 2.5 kilogram per hour so we are dividing it by 3600 so it is kilogram per second into calorific value of the fuel 40.3 into 10 power 3 that is 40,300 kilojoule per kilogram so on the numerator as well as in the denominator same unit is there so answer is 0.323 we have to multiply that with 100 so our answer is 32.3% so this is indicated power, mechanical efficiency, indicated power and brake power. All the four required things are available with us. <clears throat> now with the same numerical word we are doing, we are adding one more part. We will go for heat balance sheet. So how we have to draw the heat balance sheet that will continue. So previously what we had discussed that is okay ask in the data but now we are adding one more thing that is we have to go for heat balance sheet so what is there in the heat balance sheet so first what is the amount of energy supplied that is one part like what we did in our school days so on one side what is supplied so that is energy supplied that is one side and what is available on other side you can say available on other side so all these thing energy distributed that is available on other side that is our heat balance sheet so what you can see here energy supplied and energy distributed so what is energy supplied that is mass of fuel consumed into its calorific value so this is amount of energy that is supplied so what we are supplying that is here and now what is available with us that is on the other side okay so this is 100 percent we are supplying what is available on other side what heat utilized to produce brake power so 7.54 into 60 so it is in terms of kilojoule per minute heat carried by the cooling water that is mass of water into cp of water into temperature difference so mcp delta t for water so it is 570.8 kilojoule per minute heat carried by exhaust gases that is mcp delta t for gases so mass of gas that is given here this is the mass of gas in terms of kilogram per minute cp of gas that is 1.005 temperature difference that is exhaust gas outlet temperature and air inlet temperature so it is 462 kilojoule per minute and unaccounted losses that is total energy supplied minus summation of all these three total energy supplied minus summation of all these three that is 197.8 kilojoule per minute so this thing this one two three and four this is on other side okay energy supplied that is on one side energy distributed that is on another side so now what we have to do we have to find out that in terms of percentage so heat supplied that is 100 percent heat utilized in brake power that is 20.94 percent heat carried by the cooling water that is 33.97 percent heat carried by the exhaust gases 27.51 percent unaccounted losses that is 11.78 percent so now what you have to do you have to do or what you have to do you have to draw heat balance sheet by yourself so how you have to draw heat balance sheet for that i am putting one slide you have to see the slide and for this numerical you have to draw heat balance sheet by your own okay so friend you can see this is a heat balance sheet this is not a heat balance sheet of our numerical what we had solved this is a heat balance sheet for some different numerical 
you have to draw this kind of heat balance sheet for this numerical so you can see on one side heat supplied that is mf into cv uh, in terms of kilogram per hour uh, it is mentioned and it is 100 percent so you can see total is this and unit is 100 percent now where it is utilized that is shown on other side that is heat utilized again unit in terms of kilogram uh, joule per hour and in terms of percentage so for the brake power what is the value what is percentage heat carried by the cooling water that is mcp delta t of cooling water what is the percentage what is the value heat carried by the exhaust gases that is mcp delta t of gas what is the uh, value in terms of kilogram per hour what is the percentage and unaccounted losses so unaccounted losses what is the value in terms of kilojoule per hour and what is the percentage so ultimately you can see this total in terms of kilojoule per hour is similar to this total and 100% that is on the other side 100% so what you have to do is you have to draw a heat balance sheet for this numerical because this kind of numerical may be asked in your college test examination or in the university examination so draw it and in the comment uh, you write it is drawn or not and if you face any difficulty let me know i will again draw that heat balance sheet and i will put it so friend this was the end related to the numerical about internal combustion engine performance if you like this video then do not forget to press the like button definitely share this video to your friends to your student to your relatives to the needy persons and do not forget to subscribe this channel the channel name is avm tech android this is a qr code of channel if you face any difficulty always you can write in the comment and accordingly the video will be placed thank you thank you very much